and welcome back to the Dark Angels Combat Patrol Part 2. Today we are going to be doing all the highlights and all of the basing and all those types of things that we need just to finish these guys off slash take them to the next level. So without much further ado we're going to jump right in and we're going to start highlighting and we're going to be highlighting basically in reverse order. We're going to go back to the beginning. That's not reverse order, we're going to be doing it in the same order almost. So we're going back to the beginning where we're going to be highlighting all of the armour and we're going to start with our Primaris Chaplain. And we originally did him shyish purple followed by black templar so we're going to give him a sort of purple highlight and the first color that we're going to be using for that is demonette hide so i've got some thin down on my palette i'm going to take some on my brush not very much at all and i'm using a artist opus series m triple zero size and i'm just going to start highlighting all of the edges on all of his black armor with this Just like that. And with that demonette hide applied, what we then want to do is take a small amount of slanesh grey. And we just want to pick out the sharpest areas on those armor panels. Got like the corner here on his knee, and we've got the corners here on his gorget. Like that, as well as any little rivets and stuff. Just a little bit here. We got the rivets here, just like this. You just want to go around picking out these areas like this, and then we'll come back. So, with that black armor done on our chaplain, it's now time to pop him to one side, and it's time to start highlighting all of our green armor. Now I'm going to start here on the Intercessor, and the colour that I'm going to be using is Warpstone Glow. Now all we want to do is we just want to use this Warpstone Glow to give us a nice highlight on all of our green armour panels. Now this is going to be probably the longest step, because you've got to do this on all of your Intercessors, all of your Inceptors, and of course the Redemptor Dreadnought. Just take your time. I'll see you when we come back. So with all that warpstone glow applied, and you should have green armor that looks somewhat like this, particularly on that dreadnought, but also here on our intercessor, it looks really cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use some moot green. I'm gonna use this to pick out the sharpest areas on our miniatures. For example, on the Dreadnought, we've got all of these rivets we just want to pick out. We want to also add a little bit of this to any of the corners. On the armor panels as well, just to give it that impression of the light catching off it. Much like this. So just take your time doing this. You'll end up with something that looks a little bit like that corner there. Similarly, on the intercessor, you just want to pick out the sharpest areas. Just for example, here on his gorget, like that. And so, with that done, you should now have some beautiful, shiny, awesome green armor. Look at it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is pop that to one side and now we're going to work on all of the parchment and bone details and we're going to demonstrate this on this intercessor. Now the colour we're going to be using for this is Screaming Skull. And all we want to do here, you just want to pick out all of the edges on all of these areas like this. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Corax White. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our white details. And 
Yeah, but that done, what we're now going to do is going to use some Liberator Gold to highlight all of our gold. And next up, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of that red with some Wild Rider Red. And next up, we're going to use some Administratum Grey to highlight all of our black details that aren't the black armor of our chaplain, because we've already finished him. And next up, we're going to use some Iron Hand Steel to highlight all of our silver. And so with that done, it's now time to finish off any unique details that each of our miniatures have, because we've done all of the uh, all of the generic highlights, which is really cool. And again, that's our intercessor. That's our primaris chaplain. That's our inceptor. And this is our redemptor dreadnought. Look at that. So what we're going to do now is we are going to do all of those unique details. And we're going to start with the intercessors because this should be pretty quick. <laughs> so. The colour we're going to use first is Blood Angel's Red. I'm going to use this on all of his gems and lenses. So he's got a little lens there on his on his eyepiece. He's got a couple of gems here in the sword hilt. Like that. And with that done, just before we highlight them, what we're going to do is we're going to use some Flayed One Flesh. This is to highlight his skin. Just like that. And with that done, we need to make a small amount of Screaming Skull. I'm going to use this to paint in his eye. Like that. And with that done, we're going to take a tiny dot of Black Templar and just apply it in the middle, like that, as his pupil. And with that done, we're going to take some Wild Rider Red. I'm going to add this as a little highlight to each of our gems. Just like that. And lastly, just to finish him off, we're going to use a tiny dot of Corax White right in the middle of our gems. Just to make them look nice and shiny. Just like that. And with that, our intercessor is finished. So with our intercessors done, we're now just going to quickly work on our inceptors. Now there's not a lot more to do on these guys, but what we are going to do is we're going to take some Talisar Blue. And inside these large engines here, this one here, what we want to do is just over the top of that Iron Warriors, which is in there. We just want to add this Talisar Blue all inside, like so. Going in a circular motion, like that. And then next up, we're going to use some Aram and Blue. 
along the flat of that area just inside there. Just want to fill that in like that. And then next up we're going to use some Baharoth blue. I'm going to add this in the middle. Like that. And with that Baharoth blue applied, what we then want to do is take a small dot of Corax white and place that right in the middle. Like that. Similarly, what we can then do is take our Corax white and just on the corners of the plasma coils, add a little highlight like this. give it that impression of the plasma coil glowing. And with that done, our Inceptor is now finished. So we're gonna pop him to one side. I'm gonna pick up our Primaris Chaplain. Now all that's left to do on him is to do the lenses on his skull helmet. And the color that we're gonna be using for that is Blood Angels Red. Just be very careful here. Just negotiate our brush in there and get that Blood Angels red all over these little lenses. Just like that. And next up we're going to use a teeny amount of Wild Rider red. Just to add a little highlight to the bottom of each of these eye lenses like that. So with that done, our chaplain is now finished, so we can just pop him to one side. And all that's left to do is to work on our Redemptor Dreadnought and his last few details. So, the place we're going to start is we're going to start here, on the back, on that Mechanicus symbol. The colour that we're going to use is some thinned down Corax white. We just want to get this all over. the skull and the cog, like this. What we can also do is use this Corax right on top of our missiles up here on the Icarus rocket pod. And we can also, with a much smaller brush than this one, take our Corax white. And once again, just like with the Inceptors on our plasma coils, we want to add some Corax white here on the corner. Of each of them, just to give it that impression of the light. Charging up. Right, you see. With that done, we're now going to paint in the design on the Mechanica symbol, and this is going to be black and white. Now, the first color we're going to use is Black Templar. And what we want to do is we want to do a half black skull and a half black cog. Now, I've got the picture in front of me. It is inside left is black and outside right is black, according to this picture. So I'm going to be doing it that way. Now, the color that I'm going to use, as I said, is Black Templar. And all I want to do is I want to be very careful here. I just want to start colouring in over the top of these details with that Black Templar. When I get to a place where I want it to be halved, I just want to draw a line going down like that. And then just finish off the rest of the section.
like that. Similarly on the skull, I want to draw a line going down the middle. Like that. And I just want to fill in the skull. And with that done, what we now want to do is we want to take some apothecary white. We want to use this over the remaining sections. Just like that. And so with that Mechanicus symbol done, all that's remaining is the gems and lenses on our Redemptor Dreadnought. And so the first color I'm gonna be using is Blood Angels Red. I'm gonna use this on some of these gems, well, lenses, but not all of them. I'm gonna use it on this one up here on the Icarus Rocket Pod. I'm gonna use it just here in this corner. And I'm gonna use it on this one here. Just like that. And next up, we're going to use some Talisar Blue on the remaining ones. So we've got one here. Use a little bit more there. We've got one down here. And we've got a couple just in there as well. Like that. And next up, we're going to use some Baharos blue to highlight those gems. So, for example, on this large circular one, just want to add a little bit of this black Baharos blue as a highlight around the bottom right corner, like that. Whereas on the kind of smaller ones, just want to add a little bit of this as a dot in the middle, like that. And we want to do a very similar thing with our Wild Rider Red and all of our red gems. Like that. And next up, just add a little bit of shading to these gems. We want to take some wild wood, not very much on our brush. And on both the blue and the red, what we want to do is we want to just add this little bit of darkness in the opposite corner to where we've highlighted. Like that, for example, on the blue gem. And on our red. We add it like that. And lastly, just to finish these areas off, we want to use a small dot of Corax White right in the middle of where we've just added our Wildwood, like that. Like that. So all that remains to do is to use some Uriel Yellow, and this is to use this in that searchlight. Just here like this. And with that done, our Redemptor Dreadnought is now finished. He's fully painted, would you look at that? And he looks awesome. So, all that's left to do is to do his base. Now, of course, I always recommend that you do this in the same style as the rest of your army. But what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing an Astro Granite Debris mix with some Wildwood over the top and a Terminatus Stone. 
dry brush over the top. But of course, if you want to see how I do this, you can check out the How to Paint Dark Angels Intercessors Contrast Plus tutorial. Or as I say, you can just do it the same way as the rest of your army. And lo, our bases are now finished. And so is our combat patrol. Yep, all done. Doesn't it look awesome? There's a couple of things on here that I haven't shown. The how to do the transfers and things like that. And also, you know, the colors used for the rims of the base. It's Corvus Black for those of you wondering. And that's because I've already demonstrated it before in the how to paint a Dark Angels Intercessor video. So if you want to see how to do the... Uh, the bases, you can check that video out. And if you'd like to see how to do transfers, you can check out how to paint the Blood Angels Outriders tutorial. Now, this was a lot of fun to do. Everyone knows I've got a big old Dark Angels army, and it was great to add these guys to it. And I'm really excited to add some more at some point following these same methods. Probably do some tanks next, because that's what everybody loves to see. Doing some tanks, right? You'd like to see some tanks. I'm sure you would. If you enjoyed this one and you'd like to support me further, like these legends on the screen, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. And if you'd like to stay up to date, make sure to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.